Hey everyone, it's Drew here, and I'm back to talk about the 2 gig Edge and learning in the 2 gig DW10E-345 door window contact into the actual panel itself, uh, the 2 gig Edge. Now this is uh, super, super easy to do. Um, it's actually even easier if you haven't already removed the tab from the device like I have, but um, that's all right. So uh, I'll show you both ways to do it here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hit the gear in the bottom right hand corner of the 2 gig edge panel and then you're going to enter your installer code which out of the factory is 1561 and that'll get you into another programming menu you're going to go ahead and scroll down to the third row and you're going to click installer toolbox once you get into there you're going to go into panel programming once you're in panel programming you'll see a bunch of different uh, you know things that are listed in there. Uh, in this case what we're going to learn in is a door window contact so you're just going to go ahead and click wireless zones and uh, in my panel's case here we have not learned anything in yet. This is a fresh panel, brand new. So this will be the first thing we're going to learn in. Now when you go in here uh, this thing is actually pretty cool because it gives you a hamburger icon so you can select the equipment code. In this case this is going to be a 2862 which is an E-series thin door window contact once you've uh, got, you know, went ahead and got that in there, hit the down arrow, which is at the bottom of the screen, and you're going to move on to sensor type. Now this is where you're going to choose what type of, uh, you know, responsibility the sensor is going to have. So you press the hamburger icon, and it'll bring up the list. In this case, I'm going to set it as a door, and it is going to be an entry exit, which means that it's going to have a delay on it. It'll give me some time to get to the keypad uh, once the door has been opened. Um, what we'll do now is we'll press the down arrow and it's going to move on to TXID. Uh, when you've done this, uh, it's a lot easier just to learn it in. Uh, so that way you can recognize and the system will recognize that, it'll, that it's responsive. So in this case, you're going to hit learn. If you still have the tab that's located in the bottom of this thing, at that point you would pull that tab and it would automatically learn it in. I've already done that. So uh, in my case, I'm just going to do it by actually triggering the sensor. So you just take the magnet and you put it next to it and you trigger it a few times. And as you can see, it learns it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit accept to accept my serial number. And then we're gonna hit the down arrow. At this point, it's, it's already on the correct loop. Leave it at loop two, press the down arrow. You're gonna to go to voice descriptor. Voice descriptor is where you can choose what it's gonna say. So you go ahead and hit edit voice descriptor. In this case, we're just gonna go with front door. So I'll ch type in FR front and then door whoops door there we go and now it has front door as its voice descriptor uh, now you can enable the chime if you'd like it will actually say that uh, that terminology that you just put in there so uh, in this case we'll go with the voice only option for the chime and smart areas assignment uh, you're just gonna leave that on s1 unless you're gonna be setting up smart areas uh, which is completely up to you uh, the transmission delay, that means that it's going to give you an additional amount of time before the sensor actually transmits its signal to the central station. So in this case, I'm going to disable that because I want it to immediately transmit if it goes past the, extra, the actual delay time. Uh, sensor reports enabled, that means it's going to be sending a signal to central station. And sensor, uh, sensor supervised means that the panel will be monitoring the sensor for check-ins. At this point, the zone is learned in, so you can choose next zone, or you can just go ahead and hit the back arrow. Everything is locked in and it will be saved. So you just keep hitting the back arrow if you're wanting to get out of programming at this point. So we'll try to get it to chime now. So here we go. All right, there we go. So the front door is open now. Now I'll go ahead and I'll close it, and we're ready to go. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you learn in the 2 gig DW10E-345 into the brand new 2 gig edge panel. If you have any uh, comments or questions, please leave them below in the comment box. But other than that, you guys have a great day. Take care. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the Show More tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.